by a dog. You never really bargain on the fact that this pet soon becomes your best friend. The one you go for lazy walks with, have a rumble with, or pour over your favourite magazine discussing this season's current trends. A dog is a reliable friend in an unreliable world. But the only problem with my dog is that since I started including Christy in my Wonder World stories, she has the most unbearable ego. And I've had to look on the sly at other breeds and discovered the Silky Terrier. <laughs> Although Christy would hate to admit this, she is a bit of a mutt. And I'm looking for a dog with breeding. Now, these Silky Terriers came about when an Australian Terrier was bred with a Yorkshire Terrier. And the end result was a super cute, super spunky, super alert, hyperactive beast. I think I like it. Jenny, my dog is suffering from a major personality problem. I think she's just got too much of it. What is the personality of a Silky Terrier like? Oh, Silky Terriers are nice little dogs. They have nice personalities. Um, they make good watchdogs. They like kids. Are they quite territorial? Uh, a little bit territorial, especially when they're on their own property. <laughs> How long do they live till? Well, their lifespan is anything from, say, 12 to 16 years. Oh, that's good. And what's your advice, professional opinion here, on a dog that's suffering from an ego problem? Oh, uh, throw him in the pool? Good idea. Unlike my dog, who spends hours on her appearance, silkies are so easy to look after. Wash them once a week to make sure they're flea-free. Brush them to make sure they're tangle-free. Clip their nails and feed them any healthy dog food. If you want your dog to advance from silky companion to silky champion, here are some tips on what the judges look for. A fine, silky, bluey coat that hasn't had too much sun. Feet are small and cat-like. Toenails black. Tail is docked. Movement free. Head small and no anchovies. Through hard work and sheer determination, Jenny has won herself a mess championships and prizes. This is the one that started it all. The mother of them all, the foundation teach, Glorford the Stirrer. And who is being bred as the champion up-and-coming prize teach? Crackle. <laughs> Chris, Christy, stop biting the cameraman. Stop, please, stop biting that. Don't bite the cameraman, please. Just stop, just be good. Tell me, what, I, what do you love about silkies? They're cute, colours and silly vegetables. Do you sleep in the bed with them at night? Yep. They are pretty cute, aren't they? I can see why you love them. Yep. Why don't you dump Christy and buy a silky? Buy a silky? Well, I've sort of been thinking, Renee, you can't buy love. And I might just stick with the one that loves me. I think I'll stick with Christy. Christy! What I say is, yeah. it all oh. A good cat sticks with her dog, at least she's trying to. A loyal owner yet. Now there's a switch, and here's another. Today's snapshot. This mouse has caught himself a cat. It's Super Mouse. Now if I can just drag this thing back to my mouse hole. Thanks to Michael Gaynor for this funny cat and mouse tale. For Mike, I've chosen a book on the universe. A cutout helmet mask from Thames and Hudson. A hip cat from Hypnotic Hats. And goodies that glow in the dark from the experts. Glow Zone. Hope you like those prizes, Mike. Here's our snapshot address. Send your snapshots or new music demos to Wonderworld, PO Box 27, Willoughby, 2068, Australia. And remember to include a second envelope with your name, your address and a stamp on it. You must include this second envelope if you want your material back. And did you notice that the address has changed? Take note, punters. A story from the wonderfully fruity Jody Young. Back soon. The oldest dog in the world was another good old Aussie, an Australian cattle dog named Bluey. Born in 1910, he died in 1939. The longest life of any dog on record.